this German Bavarian style restaurant. It's called Bavaria All. Oh, I just got the schnitzel. It is. I'm in heaven right now. German food heaven. Next stop on the tour, we're up at the Connie Brewery. Go! Alright guys, it's lunchtime here and we're actually going to try some German food. What's up? Before we start, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more tips and recommendations. Although we are in the German state of Lower Saxony, we are dining at a restaurant called Bavaria Alm. The state of Bavaria is south, while Lower Saxony is in the northwest of Germany. Alright guys, we're at Bavaria Alm right now, We're about to dine on German food. Oh, I had a water. I had a water. No gas. No gas. Is that the video? Lohenbrau is a brewery in Munich, and in German means lion's brew. Alright guys, so I'm having a low end brown. Prost. Prost, man. That's sweeter than yours. What was it? Is that the same? It's nice. It's sweet. What's up? After visiting the BVB Borussia Dortmund facility, these football players were starving for food. <laughs> had to bring it in, had to, had to reel in the pretzels for the boys today. This is one of the best pretzels I've ever had. Nice and warm, got the mustard. Nothing beats a pretzel dipped in mustard, fresh off the oven. Did I mention the room full of hungry football players? For lunch, I ordered the Hunter style pork schnitzel with fries that had a tasty gravy with mushroom sauce. So we're in this German Bavarian style restaurant. It's called Bavaria All. I just got the schnitzel. It is. This is a Hunter style Alpine special schnitzel. So bon appetit. While I enjoyed the schnitzel, my buddy Brett ordered the goulash with spatzel. Spatzel is my favorite side dish in all of Germany. What'd you get, man? Goulash. I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Goulash. 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 And it just needs a tad bit of seasoning on this. Yeah, but it's fire. Now we're talking. Spatzel is simply made with eggs, flour, and white pepper. Down the other side of the table, Gary ordered a famous Bavarian dish, the roasted pork knuckle. And I'm telling you, it looked delicious. What am I saying? Goulash. That word. Goulash. I mean, goulash. Coffee went soft today. It was, a, it was a salad with the schnitzel, and now I'm regretting it, JJ, because I should have gone with the Hunter style. You can add some of mine. Once this next plate snuck by me, I was salivating over it. The Mollen Wooden Trough, which is an assortment of meats, mixed sausages, sauerkraut, and fried potatoes. This was the traditional style of Bavaria Alm and the most aesthetically pleasing meal. I'm in heaven right now. German food heaven. I'm having a schnitzel right now. It's got mushroom like the sweet mushroom. You can have this schnitzel with mayo and ketchup. It's fantastic. I just had to wash this second half of the meal down with a dunkel. I'm in Germany. With German food being so heavy, along with a couple of beers, I struggled to finish my schnitzel. Next on the tour, we headed to another German state of North Rhine, Westphalia, to the city of Duisburg. We headed to the Kunig Brewery, excuse me for pronouncing it wrong outside the voiceovers. We were treated to a tour of this gigantic brewery which has been around since 1858. Next stop on the tour, we're up at the Konig Brewery, Konig Keller Brewery. So we're gonna go inside and tour around the brewery. And afterwards we have a buffet for you, so you can eat all the German food we have. Yeah. I'm bitch, kids. <laughs> okay. Special thanks to Connie for all the uh, gifts. Now, what makes a pilsner? You got a pilsner. How different? I didn't know like a fresh Put your lab coats on, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Yaffe reporting for surgery. You gotta put on this fabric softener. You know. JJ, you actually look like an astronaut. 
Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, I know, dude. I got my astronaut stuff on. <laughs> we're getting our headsets because it's probably loud in there. All right, Brett, man, what are we doing right now, bro? Dude, look here. I don't even know what like beer company this is, but we're going on a tour. Kunish, Kunish, oh. Kunish, Kunish. I was saying it wrong like the whole hour. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an hour. Yeah, you know, start drinking, get drunk, and get on the store. Stay, yeah, stay warm too. It's a little cold. It's a little, yeah, it's a little, it's a little chilly right now. It's like yeah. lost. Yeah. <laughs> Not Penny's boat. Known as the King Brewery in English, it's one of Germany's largest breweries. And now we have a new um, brewing house. Uh, in the next step, I will show you our new brewing house. But first of all, here on this place, I will tell you something all, uh, about our raw materials that we use to um, brew our beer here. We only use for our beer brewing water, malt and hops. Um, our water we get from the, uh, the nature park, Hohen Mark, and um, the water comes off, out of the water lines. I wonder what happens if I touch one of these buttons. Hey Todd, can you press one of these buttons real quick? What does this mean, you know? That tells you how much is in the, the level, how much is in the reactor, and these things are the valves, and these are the pumps. This is where they filmed that scene in Lost, where it was like not, not Penny's boat, and he was like... <laughs> down uh, the brewery just went to the packaging area not sure what this is my earpiece already fell off so I can't get educated Kunij offers this tour Monday to Friday in the afternoons for 12 euros for tours around 2 p.m. and 16 euros for tours after work hours starting at 6 p.m. the duration of each tour is about three hours visit the Kunij website for more details in the description box below Smock here is getting a little bit in the way of my pouring ability we're drinking the uh, unfiltered beer. <laughs> like the unfiltered sculpin that I have, except it's, uh, it's a Pilsner. The unfiltered Pilsner, which I was told we could only try here at the brewery tour, definitely hit the spot. We also got to meet the amazing brewers who further taught us more about the Pilsner brewing method. These brewers were dressed in either lab coats or these cool looking red overalls. So we gotta leave the glass here. I'm not leaving it half empty. You know me, I never leave a pint of beer unfinished. We both here three weeks in this cold tank. And we have here minus 1.5 degrees in this tank for three weeks. And so you can uh, have a good pills. Although you can't feel it, this room was super chilly. The Pilsner spends three weeks in these cold tanks in order to get that refreshing Pilsner taste. So our tour guide said that there's uh, about 78 million people here in Germany. One person consumes about 100 liters a year. <laughs> no, that was fun. I'm just out of breath, dude. I can't go. Whew. Going up and down these steps in this brewery is a tough task, especially while you're drinking beers. This area reminds me of Laverne and Shirley. We're gonna make it after all. Make all our dreams come true and we'll do it our way. Lance, yeah, what does this weird. remind you of? Right, uh, like Krispy Kreme donuts, man, with alcohol. <laughs> this distribution warehouse is amazing to go around and it even has a stairwell to go over the conveyor belts of beer. D'Angelo had other thoughts about how to get to the other side, so he decided to go under instead of over. The brewery's most popular beer is the Kunig Pilsner. Its first records of being sold in Germany was around the year 1911. Now that's the definition of more life. More beers equals more life. Now not all the beers are perfectly sealed, and me and Brett were happy to take advantage of a straggler. Every now and then there's a few stragglers. We call them the bastards. I'll take the bastards. Yeah, I'll I don't, take I don't the mind bastards. them. Yeah, they're the same. Prost. Cheers. Prost. Even the bottle caps has a giant section in the brewery. So that right there are all bottle caps. That's a ton of bottle caps. After the tour, we were treated to a huge German buffet. 
First is the Bavarian sausage salad and the meatballs with sheep's cheese. Usually desserts are at the end of the buffet line, but this Bavarian cream along with the Black Forest cake and Frankfurt wreath was staring me directly in the eyes. Next on the buffet line is the bacon and potato salad followed by our main dishes. The first main dish offering was the roast bratwurst combined with the rotkraut or in English red cabbage. Moving along, we have an offering of roasted potatoes with Hanchen schnitzel or chicken cutlets. The next main dish was the picanter currywurst, my favorite of the buffet. And then finally, a German meal wouldn't be complete with some traditional sauerkraut. At the end of the buffet is a chef offering up some ham roast along with some extra carbs to top it off with a delicious fresh pretzel. Finally, it was time to sit down and polish off this dish. So we just ate like an hour ago, but can't complain, so here we go. I tell you, if I came here on an empty stomach, I would have devoured all of that buffet. Next up was some fun and games with the boys involving this gigantic glass of beer and a race to who can finish it first. Gentlemen, place your bets. Okay, I got 50. I got 50. It'll change itself. It'll change itself. So what are the rules? Can any of it spill? Yeah, a little, no, bit. A little bit. Like, a little bit. A little bit. Like, I'm. Okay, all right. Let's see if it comes out your nose. <laughs> he said he got 50 on cam. Hey, what if you clear it? But then you can get your five. The challengers in this race are a quarterback, a wide receiver, and an offensive lineman. Bro, I got more, bro. Look at that. Nah, that's even, bro. No, oh, it's not <laughs> That's four. Oh, you less now. Okay, no, we even. Less Perfect. Now. Nah, you less. I, I ain't gonna say three, two, one, go, because then that's on zero. <laughs> three, two, go. This oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's come a on, great He crushed it. He crushed it. He crushed it. Oh, he crushed it. Oh, he crushed it. Oh, I won that, though. No, 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 no. I won that. That was the time. I won that. No, it was. Look at me. You still got. Alright guys, so that's it from uh, Koig Pilsner uh, Brewery. Danke schön, baby. Prost. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.